Okay guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to add a Google Analytics tag to your WordPress website. So it's very, very simple and a lot of people make this far more complicated than they need to. Uh, I don't really know why, it's like one of the most simple things ever. You want to press show advanced options on this page. So you go admin, create account and then you just type in your names and then and then on the second screen you just want to press hide advanced options or show advanced options and you actually want to make a universal property and you want to put www oh no you don't want to necessarily it depends how you set up your own website basically uh, i can't really advise you it depends on your website what you put there and then you just want to press next and then i always tick all these uh, i don't really know why but may as well like and then you just want to double accept on these two, even though you never read them. And then we have this page here. You'll be taken to this page here, basically. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click global site tag and then um, copy this little bit of code here. And then if you're unfamiliar with WordPress, you want to go to appearance, theme editor, and then you want to go to your theme header and you want to find where your head finishes. And just before that, all you need to do is paste this lovely bit of code and then press update file. And then if you go on your website and you right click and you inspect your website and you press control F and you type in G tag, I can't write apparently. As you can see now, there is a couple of things with G tag in the name, which means it should be working. So. If I go on reports, okay, this is Google Four. It never works for me. I'll set I'll I'll set up Google Four another time. But there we go. Uh, it's working as you can see. This is me online. If I close this and we wait uh, a couple of seconds, this will disappear. One, two, three. Do I have another one open? Hang on. I think I might have my website open on another screen. No. Why is this not disappearing? Does this mean I'm on my own website? Maybe. Let me just close all these chromes that I have open. Hang on. Close that. Okay, that's kind of weird. I don't know why it's still here. Maybe my internet's just bad? Seems pretty bad. Okay, I've closed everything and for some reason it still says that I'm online, but that's fine. Okay, so uh, tomorrow I will release a video on how to set up Search Console. Uh, if you go to Acquisition and click Search Console Landing Pages, it will say uh, to set up Search Console. Uh, you can try and work this out for yourselves. It is kind of complicated. I still need to remember how to do it, but you can just kind of play around with it and try and make it work or you can follow what I'm doing I guess because maybe this is just gonna work this time uh, verify no okay so I don't know why it's not working so I'll, I'll release a video on how to set up search console tomorrow I, I don't know why it still says I'm on my website because I'm not unless this is somebody else okay that's kinda weird but that's how you set it up anyway guys and I hope this helps peace out